What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some ranked VGC double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are showcasing an off-meta Life Orb Flapple team that also features Swift Swim Golduck and Kyogre. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. It really does go a long way. And your boy just recently hit 10,000 subscribers. Seriously, thank you guys. You guys mean the world to me, and that milestone really does mean a lot. But we are back here playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit considering we've been doing BDSP competitive ranked double battles. If you guys want to go check out that content, definitely go check it out. But I'm ready to get back into this, ready to play a little bit more of this and get back into the Dynamax format. But getting started with this team in that top left corner, Regilecki. This Pokemon is so broken in this game. I haven't used it in a while, but it's phenomenal. Super fast, has speed control, all that good stuff. Transistor ability, magnet as item, and then Thunderbolt, E-Web, Volt, Switch, and Protect for its moveset. Right next to him is Urshfu, one of the best back-end Pokemons for any team in this game. Has Unseen Fist, this one is rocking the Choice Band, and then this moveset of Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and you turn to pivot out. Middle left is going to be our Tailwind Setter, and that is going to be Talonflame with the Gale Wings and the Mental Herb as its item. Overheat, Brave Bird, Tailwind Protect, nothing really too new for a Talonflame. Right next to him is going to be Kyogre over here, and this Kyogre's a little bit different. It's kind of the same as every other Kyogre, but this one's rocking with the choice specs. Usually they don't really rock with choice specs, so we get this thing out there, get it to go first. We can do a massive amount of damage with Water Spouts and that choice spec. We also have Thunder, Origin Pulse, and Ice Beam for our final three moves. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Golduck. These two Pokemon on the bottom are going to be a lot of fun to use, considering you never, I mean never, see these guys in the rank ladder. We got Golduck over here. Swift Swim, so it doubles its speed in the rain. Focus Sash, so we don't get one tap. We got Scald. We got Icy Wind for speed control. Soak to actually change the opponent's typing to water, which will pair well with Flapple. We'll go over that in a little bit. And then Protect as its final move. Final Pokemon is the one and only Flapple. And this Pokemon was the reason I chose this team and chose to showcase it in the first place. Very cool off-meta Pokemon, personally one of my favorites, with that Hustle ability. Also has that Life Orb, it's Grass and Dragon typing with Grab Apple, Dual Wing Beat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Dragon Rush for our Stab Dragon move. Guys, I was just about talking about the Soak. I can actually go in with both these Pokemon, get them rolling, Soak anybody I want with Golduck, change them to Water, and then hit them with a Grass move. Pretty cool combo. Pretty cool combo. Can't wait to show it off. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Flapple and Swift Swim Golduck team. Guys, I haven't played this game in a while. It's a brand new season. We're actually like 10 days into the season, and I haven't played one match. We are sitting in Great Ball tier. Drop this down because last uh, last season we were in Master Ball tier. I think it said I ended 2000 which isn't too bad if I didn't really grind it. I barely really grind it. Pokemon BDSP came out and we've been on the grind for that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys wanna go check out my BDSP rank content, go check it out. It's a lot of fun and the format is tons of fun considering we're using a bunch of new Pokemon. But uh, let's find a pony here and let's get after and try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Cause I really wanna show off this Flapple. I think Flapple is really, really cool. And that actually leads me to question of the day. That is, what is your favorite off-meta Pokemon to use? It could be multiple. It could be one. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to get your guys' answer. But for me, I love Flapple and Appleton. I think they're so much fun to use and very fun off-meta. Same thing with Electivire. I think Electivire is fun all around. But this is the one thing I didn't miss. It's the same teams. When I left playing this game, when I left, I was going up against these teams. And now I'm back again. Granted, I didn't really leave for like long. Leave is is exaggeration. I was I was just playing Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. But we're back here and we're versing the same exact teams. We're going up against the Shadow Rider Calyrex team featuring Galarian Zapdos, Regilecki, Urshifu, Indeedee, and Glacier. Glacier, Glacier, however you want to pronounce it. However you guys want to pronounce it. But let's get started here. Who should I go into? Um, I could go Regilecki. Regilecki's not bad. I could go Talonflame. I mean, their speed's not like that huge of a factor. I'm really not worried about it. I mean, I could go Swift Swim Golduck, who could work out really, 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 really well here with maybe Kai Ogre and Golduck and just Icy Wind and kind of go into like a water spout. Golduck has Swift Swim, so he's going to be fastest on the field. Right? He should be able to outspeed a... Mm, but do we think he's going to lead Regilecki? Which could be a problem. Which could be a problem. What's my player? I think we do that. And then we go Flapple in the back end, and then we just rock out with... Uh, Urshifu. Choice Band Urshifu coming in late is going to be awesome. So I'm going to pick these guys. I'm going to rock out with that. But I really do think he might lead the Regilecki. But if so, it's all good. It is all good. But I'm kind of curious because I know Golduck will outspeed Regilecki in the rain. 100% it will. But I'm curious to see if Kyogre can outspeed a minus one Regilecki. We'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. Maybe he won't even lead the Regilecki, but I'd be surprised. 
I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Let's see. He's gonna toss out two Pokemon. Yeah, obviously. Regidike, Shadow Rider, Kylex. Surprise, surprise, right? Surprise, surprise. We're gonna go in with Golduck alongside with this guy right here. I'm hope I'm hoping we can get after this. And I might just drop an origin pulse, just for the sheer fact. Hmm. Cause I like imagine like he's too fast. He's too fast, right? He's too fast. So I think we just go into an origin pulse here. Just in case he outspeeds us, but we're just gonna go into an icy wind and kind of roll from there. Kind of just roll from there. I don't think this guy knows what Golduck does. So he's kind of sitting here like, yo, what, what, what's going on with Golduck? What is going on with Golduck? So he's about to find out. He's about to find out. Icy Wind's going to pop him Golduck. He outspeeds everybody. Slow down everybody. And if we go this next turn, this could be a double kill for us. But again, I think Vegelucky might outspeed. That's why I did go into Origin Pulse over Water Spout. Just in case he hits up on my Kyogre. Yeah, see? See, now he outspeeds. That's a little whack. That's going to do some big old damage. And yo, they changed the interface for this. Looks a lot different. It looks a lot different. The HP bars and all that looks a lot different. Now, is this thing going for an Astro Barrage? It might. It probably outspeed my Kyogre now, doesn't it? Yep. Astro Barrage going to fly out here. Kyogre, you should be able to eat that up, right? All day, Kyogre. Yep, Kyogre is able to eat up. That's totally fine. I'm cool with this. Good thing I did go into an Origin Pulse. But now I can get out Flapple here. Grimnade's going to get boosted, but this picks up a double kill. This picks up a double kill easily. It's Stab. It's in the rain. We're choice specs. Get these dudes out my face. Run it. Run it, Kyogre. Run it, baby. But, yo, I don't like the HP bars. They go down so, like, so slow now. Like, I like the, the whole movement, how some of them will, will go faster when you do more damage. I did like that, but we're going to go into Flapple. We're just going to Dynamax it. But, yo, what a start to the battle. Quick battle. We both want to get after it. Kyogre's able to soak up. And we're rolling out strong here. He's going to go into Urshifu, which is cool. And his next Pokemon is going to be... Ooh... That's a little scary. Who he's going to Dynamax? He is going to Dynamax that Pokemon. He is going to Dynamax, but we do outspeed, which is wonderful. And I got to go into another Origin Pulse. He might Sucker Punch me. And I just got to Dynamax. I could go for a Tartness, but that just removes evasiveness. I'm terrified here. I am terrified. But who do we take out? Do we go after Urshifu here? Do I have to get that attack drop? I know we outspeed the Glacier. I know 100% we outspeed the Glacier, but he's definitely Dynamaxing the Glacier. So I could actually save my Dynamax if I want to, but I just feel like going into this Flapple could be really, really good for us. So let's do it. Let's go into Flapple. I could see a Sucker Punch popping from the, uh, from like the, the Urshfu, but I honestly don't see it happening. I don't see it happening because he knows he outspeeds us because we are minus one. But we're going to Dynamax our Flapple here. Try to get this minus one onto this, uh, Onto this glacier, and then if we could just bring out Urshifu, Urshifu just has that choice band, he outspeeds. He could pretty much solidify this battle for us. So I'm liking where we're sitting. I am liking where we're sitting. Let's see what he does. He's gonna Dynamax the glacier. Gotta be, right? Yep, Glacier's gonna come out here. Glacier on the Dynamax. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. I could have protected my boy, but I don't think protecting would have done anything. I don't think protect actually we probably should have protected him. See if Kyrie can get off shot and then bring out Urshifu, because Urshifu just poses that big threat all around. So let's see how this one plays. We will go first. Urshifu's just gonna go for Surgeon Strikes. That's totally fine. He's just gonna take out my, uh... He's gonna take out my lovely little Kyogre here. We gotta hope we outspeed this, uh... This Urshifu, because it could be annoying. We know we outspeed this Glacier here. So our attack, our minus one attack will come out first, which is huge. Let's see how this one plays out. How much damage are we gonna do? Life Orb just dumps on it. Yo, that's a great turn. That is a great turn. Get that minus one, and we gotta hope we can eat up this shot. I'm really hoping we can. Because if we can, it's pretty much GG's. Life Orb's going to chip away. And this thing's obviously going for the Hailstorm. It's four times super effective. But he has minus one. Eat this up, Flapple. All day. Bruh, Flapple. Flapple down for the count. Flapple down for the count. This thing is back up to normal with its attack. And how do we play this one? Go on to Urshfu. I think we just got to hit this thing as hard as we possibly can, right? <laughs> I think we just got to hit this thing as hard as we possibly can. Killing Nade's gonna get boosted, and I feel like if we do not eat the shot, we lose, right? He's gonna go into the ice move, but Urshifu coming out here. We have close combat. It's choice band. It's stab. Super effective. It could do it. It could definitely do enough damage. Let's see. We gotta go into it, right? I don't think he eats up a shot. I don't think Urshifu eats up a shot. Let's do it. Straight into the close combat. Make it happen, Urshifu. This is why we bring you. For, for Pokemon like this. Close combat's gonna fly. And that thing soaks up. That's GG's. We are going to lose. Unless unless we eat somehow. Which is possible. It's possible. But I don't think we do. He goes for a Steel Spike. That might be better for us. That's not sad. 
Did this guy mess up? He wanted the defense boost. I think we still KO here. I think we KO here. Right? Even with the defense boost, we should be able to KO. He should have went for the hailstorm. He should have went for the hailstorm. Close combat flies through here. And that's GG's. And that is GG's. We get the season started off strong. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's hop into our second battle. Try to showcase Golduck and Flapple a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. If that Glacier went into an Ice Stab move, we probably wouldn't have survived and we would have lost the battle. But hey, we take those all day. Our boy Urshfu ended up clutching up for us and grabbing ourselves a win in battle number one. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Zassian team alongside with Salazzle, Raikou, Incineroar, Serene, and Intimidate Landorus. He actually has two Intimidate Pokemon with Incineroar and Landorus. But I I, I didn't miss uh, Landorus. Or not Landorus. I didn't miss Incineroar. That's why BDSP is fun. There's no Incineroar. There is no Incineroar, but let's see how should we go into this one. Uh, I mean, he has to fake out. He has to intimidate, which is a little scary. And I think he does lead the Incineroar. Like, I think Incineroar is a probably a must come in here. And I honestly think Golduck and Kyogre could just be a great lead here. He takes speed control with Icy Winds. If he fakes this out, he fakes this out. It's all good. But in that case, like, hmm. In that case, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because we just Icy Wind. Icy Wind will be super effective. But my only problem would be if that Serene comes in here. But I don't know if he's going to lead the Serene. He might lead the Raikou. Which Raikou could be a little scary. I don't want to bring a Flapple. Flapple could be fun. And I might want to go in with the same squad here. And Gold looks just fun because, you know, we can Icy win and get off damage at the same time. But I could also go with Talonflame. But then Intimidate will affect us. But, uh... I think we just go same squad here. I think we just go same squad. We lock it down. We try to get ourselves a win here in battle number two. But guys, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, my sponsorship, Into the AM. If you guys haven't checked out their website, there is a link down in the description below. And you guys can actually use that link or code jeans at checkout for 10% off all products in their store. But you guys do not know what they are. They're a men's clothing brand. And I'm telling you guys, they are fire. Their designs are fire and their quality is super comfortable. And it is very affordable. They have great pricing on there as well. So definitely go check it out. And like I said, 10% off with code jeans at checkout or just by using the link in the description below. But he ends up going in with these two. And I'm I'm fine with this. Attack's gonna drop, but Icy Wind into Water Spout is great. Because again, Golduck's gonna be able to outspeed Swift Swim. You guys already know that. And then just minusing one their speed, Water Spout's just a beautiful play. It's just a beautiful play because really what are they going to go into maybe like an extreme speed like i don't really know but you know we're going to drop this icy win and we're going to get after this with the water spout right I, like he, what's he gonna do swap we could swap but like protect maybe but again i think water spout ko's both of these guys i think water spout just does it dirty we got choice specs it's in the rain it's stab it's just lovely it is just lovely and that's this team really benefits with teams that don't really have a lot of speed because you can icy win and then just go in with Kyogre like it's just an easy combo so if they're not rocking with Tailwind or something to kind of counteract that speed factor we are sitting in trouble hopefully that's the Landers I think it's going to be the Raikou but I'm hoping it's the Landers he's going to end up Dynamaxing here show me the Lando because I don't think Lando's going to be able to eat up a shot even if he's Dynamax Dynamax is Raikou okay so Raikou does get the Dynamax pretty smart and I'm cool with it and is he going to protect the uh, landers? That would be a smart call if he protects the landers, but hopefully he doesn't. Let's see what his play is here. He's going to protect the Lando. Lando does get to protect. I'm cool with that. Raku's going to slow down just a little bit here. Just a little bit. Icy Wind's going to pop through here. Let's we'll slow down the Raku. And how much damage are we going to do to this Raku? That's my real question. That is my real question. Is how much damage are we really going to do to this Raku with this Water Spout? Because if we KO this thing, that'd be, that'd be nuts. That would be nuts. Let's see. Water Spout flies through here. Oh my lord, that's a that's a big damage. That's a big damage. Lightning's gonna fly through here. Kyogre's probably gonna drop here, right? Yeah, Kyogre drops down. I'm cool with that. A Scald will take out that uh that what's called no problem. A Scald will take out the Raikou no problem, and we have speed up against that thing. We have speed up against that thing. I could bring in Urshfu and save my Flapple for the back end. Hmm, what do I want to do? Or do I bring Flapple and just Dynamax Flapple? I think we Dynamax Flaps. I think we Dynamax Flaps here. Flaps is really nice. So we're going to Dynamax Flaps. I'm just going to go into, I guess, like an Airstream. Or I could go into a... Hmm. Could go into Tartness. Get some stab damage. I mean, stab damage would probably be more beneficial, but I do like speed. Actually, we should be fine on the speed board. So that's why I just go into this, drop attack, and then we just Scald all the way across here. That's going to be our play. We're going to Max Guard the Raikou. 
there's definitely a possibility that he does that but i'm hoping this thing doesn't fly i mean if it flies it flies it's best to be, be like max guard and then fly i think but i wonder if flapple can outspeed i wonder if flapple can outspeed that's something i didn't check is flapple's speed but flapple's a cool pokemon i do like flapple i do like him a lot he does end up guarding that's fine ends up guarding skull's gonna get blocked we are gonna go for this lovely little uh dragon move here he's gonna fly see yo what did i say i said that's his best that's his best turn so in this case we gotta start getting some speed so i think we just airstream next turn it actually really depends who he goes into here but you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go into speed let's go speed slot there and just scald up here i could have went for an icy win could have went for an ice win but fly isn't gonna kill us my flap was gonna be able to soak up and then we are gonna get speed next turn skull is gonna fly through here pick up a big ko loving it loving it loving it and we should have another turn in the rain which is really good for us. it's gonna be really good for us because you know we get that swift swim i can icy win or i can just hit with some big skull fly pops through here my boy flapple soaking my boy flapple soaking and we are gonna go for an airstream here lovely little airstream get off some damage here lovely damage lovely damage dang dude if we would have went for a stab move that would have ko'd him that would have KO'd him, but I really need this speed boost. So in this case, I can just go for an Icy Wind and KO uh, that Landorus. And then I could hit up on whatever slot he's going into over here. This next Pokemon, it could be Zacian, right? It could be Zacian, who's rather fast. Yep, Zacian comes out here. And again, we just go for an Icy Wind here. We just go for an Icy Wind and we try to get off as much damage as we can on this thing. So, uh, what's our play here? Tartness? We could go for Tart. No. Hmm. Do we want more speed? Do we want more speed for the Flapple? Speed would do more, but then we get a special defense drop, which wouldn't really do much. But it might be our best bet. Actually, everything's not very effective. That is whack. That is whack. That is whack. We're just going to go for a Tartness then. Got to get off as much damage as we can. Icy Wind's going to poke here. Actually, we could soak. We could soak. I said we do do that. Can I, can I swap everything? Actually, no. We have to go for a Tartness here and go for an Icy Wind. Because I think what's going on, I think Zassian does outspeed us. So Icy Wind's going to fly. He does protect Lando, which is fine. He's going to protect Lando here. And that thing goes for a quick attack. Wow. Wow. A quick attack. This thing's rocking with quick attack. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. He's rocking with quick attack never see that you never see that thing rocking with quick attack but i'm gonna go into an icy wind here dip up some damage but more importantly get that speed drop wow that's pretty nuts that is pretty nuts we're gonna go with urshfu as our final pokemon quick attack on a zassian i like it that worked out super well for him that worked out super well i think that might win him the game here we have three pokemon left um what do we want to go into what's this pokemon this Raikou, uh, close combat could be good. I think, I think it's, no, I do not think it's Incineroar. It's gotta be Serene, right? I'd be Serene in that back end. I kinda just want to choice into a Wicked Blow. At the same time, it's not the play. We have to go into a close combat and deal some damage here. Let's do that. Let's go into here. We still have Swift Swim, which is really good. And we hit through Protects. So that's wonderful. We're gonna go into this like this. I am digging this. I am digging this so far. I really do wonder who his last Pokemon is. I'm hoping it's probably Incineroar or Slazzle, but I have a feeling it's Serene. I have a feeling it's Serene. Icy Wind's gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Landers. So we're gonna slow down this little Pokemon right here. This little Zacian. And hopefully we get some big damage off with this Choice Band close combat. Because we, we are outspeeding this thing 100%. 100% we're outspeeding it. We know it's rocking with Quick Attack, which is kind of scary. But let's see how this one plays out. Close combat flies through here. And it KOs. Let's go, yo. Big time KO there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So now it turns to a 2v1 situation. He did outplay my dang Flapple, though. He outplayed my Flapple. I don't even think my Flapple got off a shot. He just outplayed my Flapple. Like, Flapple's fun to use, but he's not that good. He's not that good. But Golduck's been, been the star of the show, I think. Golduck's been rocking out, taking speed control, chilling with the Kyogre. Really doing good. His final Pokemon is going to be Serene, which I thought it would be. And we kind of just go into... We have to go into close combats here. Do I just Icy Wind? Or do I Scald and look for Burn? And I kind of want to slow this thing down. I kind of just want to start slowing this thing down. Does Golduck outspeed? It does. Love you, Golduck. Golduck, baby. The duck. The duck, man. Doing some work. That's going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's because close combat's going to come out here. Probably pick up the KO, right? 
And if not, Golduck out speeds for next shot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yo. Golduck coming in, clutching up Urshfu. Best back end Pokemon, picking up the final KOs and grabbing ourselves yet another win. Hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a typical meta Ice Fighter Calyrex team. Heads of Dusclops, can set Trick Room, he has Amoongus, he has My Shout for Fake Out Control, he has Incineroar, and Regilecki. Like, this is like the meta Ice Fighter Calyrex team here. Hopefully, we can win. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves this win and, uh, you know, get that perfect record. Get that perfect record for you guys. But I don't know how I should play this one. He kind of has a lot of control if he just goes into Trick Room, which is kind of tough. But I mean, Flapple could. Well, I think we lead the Flaps. I think we lead the Flapple, but who could go into? Probably My Shao, right? Like, probably My Shao. I mean, then he has, he has a lot of fake out control. He has a lot of fake out control. And in that case, uh, what do we do? What do we do? Because I kind of want to double down into. I really want to double down into uh, Dust Clops. I really want to double down into Dust Clops. So we're going to go Flapple here. I got to bring a special attacker. So it's either Gold Duck or Regilecki. I think we go Regilecki here. We can go Regilecki. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do we do? What do we do? I don't even know. Actually, what's the withdrawal? Let's go into Urshfu here. Let's go Urshfu turn one. And then we're going to bring Kai Ogre and bring Talonflame. Let's bring Talonflame here. Just for like a back end Talonflame. Because Talonflame is great. And I really don't want to bring in this exact same team three times in a row. Three times in a row would be rough. But I don't think this one's going to be good for us. This one's not looking too good for us. Just like the team comp is just like we are going to get dumped on. You know? The team comp's just sitting here just like, oh, dude, that's tough. That's tough. But there's no way of me really counteracting Trick Room with this squad. And we kind of just got to get after Duskhaus. And if he leads my shot with it, like he is going to do, see? Then it's tough. Then we're sitting here tough. But what is he going to do? Is he going to fake out my Urshifu? I mean, like, he's got to fake out my Urshifu, right? I just want to go into a darkness here. Do I Sucker Punch? Do I Sucker I mean, we can't Sucker Punch because, you know, that thing is uh, going into a Trick Room. We're going to do this and hope that he goes for the fake out on the flat. I honestly should have Dynamaxed my uh, Urshifu. I should have Dynamaxed my Urshifu. That was our way out there. Dynamax and Urshifu was the play. 100% Dynamax Urshifu. He's going to fake out on the Urshifu slot. Say we Dynamax there, we can hit that thing with a with a G, G Max move or yeah, with our G Max move, super effective, and then just like hit this thing with a flying move. It goes for a close combat, and that's fine by me. We eat that. No, we do not. Why do I think we eat that? Why do I think we eat that? Dang. We're sitting in a tough spot. He's definitely going to get off Trick Room. He's definitely going to get off Trick Room. Really close combat to me there? You crazy, dog. Darkness going to fly through here. And oh my lord. Yo, Flapple! My man! Flapple! Yo, I did not think he was going to do enough damage to KO that thing. But we take that. We take that all day. My man, Flapple! Doing some work. Doing some work. Let's get out to Flame. Talonflame's a great call now. Now I'm really like Talonflame. We can Tailwind. We can Airstream. But again, I think this thing is going to uh, have a Sash on it. A lovely little Sash. I mean, I could just Brave Bird and do some damage on that. He's probably going to Dynamax that thing right there. And again, I could Brave Bird, but you know what? Let's say we say screw it and drop an Overheat. Let's say we say screw it and drop an Overheat. But this is tough. I mean, we do have super effective moves. So let's just... I say we just double down in this thing. Right? I'm with it all day. I don't think we need Tailwind. I think we're thriving here. Son of a biscuit. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Overheat's going to get blocked. Hopefully, we still have our Gale Wings for this next turn. Stone Edge is going to fly. And he misses. Loving it. This is why you don't run Stone Edge. Darkness flying through here. Getting after him. This thing could be policy, but again, we'll double down if I have to. Is it policy? If it's policy, I'll definitely double down with this Pokemon. Because any Dynamax is at this point. Special defense drop. It is policy. Actually, do we think that just uh, the Darkness can KO that? And he's minus. Oh, no. But this is physical. This is physical. Uh, I say we just double down with this Pokemon. We got to double down with him. We're just sending max Darknesses. Because if he Dynamaxes, then it's like, eh. And it's like, bruh. And I think he does Dynamax, and he's just going to soak up shots. I see this dude's play call. He's going for Stone Edges on me, so he can he can leave me alone with this one. He might be able to eat up one Stone Edge, we'll see. But he does end up Dynamaxing. This could be the My Shot. I wouldn't be surprised, but I think it is going to be Calyrex now that Weakness Policy is out. But we should be thriving here. We really should be thriving. 
Yep. Awesome. He can't guard because he just protected it, which is dope. Overheat's going to fly through here. And then we hit him with this darkness. So, yo, dude, Flapple team looking good. Flapple team doing work. See what he goes for. Overheat popping. Yo, and off some big damage. And can this darkness actually KO? This thing's so bulky. I don't think darkness is going to be able to kill. Then I'm just going to fly. It's going to connect. And Talonflame drops. Oh, yo, we need you. Yo, Flapple, I need you here. I need you here, Flaps. If Flapple could pick up this KO. Come on, Flaps. Flapple! Flapple! Yes! Yo, dude, Flapple is buzzing, yo. <laughs> Loving it. Imagine a horse with a legendary mythical creature on the back dying to an apple with eyes. That's embarrassing, right? That's embarrassing. But yo, my boy Flapple. <laughs> Flapple's just buzzing. And now we bring it out the real threat. We bring it out the real threat here. Now he's sitting here, he's like, oh god, dude, what is this thing? Now he's sitting here, he's like, oh god, it's Kyogre. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Jeans don't like that. Jeans don't like that. Could double down into me, but what's our play here? What is our play? Get rid of Reggie. Do we get rid of Reggie here? I mean, I could dual wing beat and KO this thing easily. And I think we just no, yeah, Origin Pulse because Regilecki is gonna outspeed us. Ooh, this is looking tough. This is looking tough. Is he e webbing? Nope, he's straight thundering. Can you soak that up? Probably not, right? Probably not. Ouch. That one hurts a lot. That one hurts a lot. Does Flapple outspeed this thing? I don't think it does. I think is orbed as well. And Close Comet's gonna fly. And Flapple goes down. No! No, we were having such a good match with Flapple. We were having such a good match. But hey, 2 and 1, not bad with this off meta team. I'm actually very glad that I put out a poll on my community tab asking you guys what games you guys would like to see. A lot of you guys did vote Sword and Shield. That is why I brought you guys a nice little Sword and Shield video today. But I had a ton of fun using this team. Off meta Flapple, off meta Golduck. Very, very fun. It's definitely something different in Sword and Shield considering everybody's so used to using the heavy meta teams, the heavy meta Kyogre teams, and then the heavy meta Calyrex, all that good stuff. It just gets old after a while. So it was definitely fun using a Kyogre team with some off meta Pokemon like Flapple and Golduck. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.